Hey guys, ET1 Sammy here. So I'm here at the NTS, National Tax Service. So this is the office in Ichon, which services the Yongsan-gu area, so ET1 area. And today is May 31st, last day that you can file your taxes without incurring a penalty. You know, like anywhere else, you, you don't file your taxes in time, you pay a penalty interest. Right? So today you have to come in and pay. You'd receive, so in Canada you would get your T4s, etc. In America you'd get your um, W2, or you know, your tax invoice from your employer. So I received that about a week ago and I didn't have time to, to come and take care of it, but today I had to do it. So I came in and I went to the office. Now you don't really have to speak Korean, they, are, they know what they have to do and here's the beautiful thing I was in and out in seven minutes now there was no lineup so I was in and out but what they did was they took my ID they took my tax invoice that I received from the government which has a listing of all the companies that claimed uh, the taxes that I paid so I had that checked out and it confirms and then I went to the office you go downstairs, so there's no English speakers, but again, they know what to do. So you just show them the form and they take you in and uh, you take a number and you go up and the guy starts doing things on a computer and you get to see what he's doing. Basically, he's HR Block or, you know, TurboTax or whatever. He's doing something with the taxes. Originally, I was supposed to pay about 180,000 won, which is about 200 bucks. But he did some things and he asked me a couple questions in Korean. Uh, I didn't quite get it, but he, you know, I, we, I muddled through it. And uh, it turns out that he cut it down by 150,000 won. So I only have to pay 30,000 won, so about 40 bucks. Um, so you have to pay the national tax and then the local tax. So like in Canada, you pay the federal tax and the provincial tax and in America you pay the uh, federal tax and the state tax. So I had to end up paying uh, $3 in city tax and about 30, sorry, 3,000 won in city tax and 30,000 won in na federal tax or national tax. So it's pretty easy, it's pretty quick and uh, I'm serious, it, it was so fast. Now it is a Friday afternoon and it is the last day. <laughs> Can you imagine what it would be like in Canada or United States? People lining up for hours to get this done. But it was so quick. Like you just typed in a few things into the computer and it was done in seconds. So what I thought was going to be an hour long turned out to be five minutes. So I'm way ahead on my schedule for today. So um, taxes are a very interesting thing in Korea because it's all automated. So for example, when you working for a job, they will claim the taxes uh, that you pay, which is about 3.3% per month. So they deduct that and that's the withholding tax. Uh, then you have Korean citizens pay a different tax because they're Korean citizens, they have to pay a, a national citizen tax, which I don't have to pay because I'm not a citizen. And depending on your taxes, if they're complex, I mean, you have deductions, etc. I would suggest going to a tax consultant that's specific for foreigners. Uh, especially if you're American, you have to pay taxes in Canada, in, in the United States, um, on your earnings here in Korea. Uh, Canadians don't have to do that. Again, this is just information that I know that's specific to me. You need to talk to your embassy, your tax uh, 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 ministry in your country to figure out what are the rules for you specifically. Uh, here in Korea, the taxes that you have to pay are the national tax and the local tax. Uh, that is registered. So when you work, your ID card is registered to your taxes and it's automatic. Uh, also, your deductions are automatic. So, for example, all of the cash receipts that you pay for um, so if you transfer money and pay a bill, that's deducted from your taxes if it's applicable. Uh, you are allowed up to 3 million won, I think it's 3 million won a year 
in deductions for like buying things. Uh, I, I'm not too sure what it is. I was just told that uh, if I pay for something in cash, that I should register my phone number and get a cash receipt. So what that does is I register my phone number with the National Tax Service, and every time I pay something with cash, I punch in my phone number into their system, and it's registered. I don't know the reasoning behind it. I was just told, do it. It's a benefit. All right? Now, it does track with the government how much you are spending. So be aware of that if you're doing anything that's not 100% legit, then you might not want to do that. Again, I'm not advocating anything. I'm just saying that that's what's happening. Because the system's all automated, um, the government tracks everything. So that's a benefit if you're 100% legit. Also, um, you know, you can... The tax system here is really fair. Uh, because there's so many people and the the overhead to the government is really small in infrastructure, uh, taxes are really low, in my opinion. I mean, in Canada, because the country's so big, the, the, the taxes have to pay for a lot. Here, I mean, the population of 52 million people is in the size of Lake Ontario. So the infrastructure is small. Uh, the services are great. Uh, I, I really, I haven't like gone into in depth about it, but you know, let me, wrap it up by saying I have never experienced a tax system so easy. Now could I have saved more? I was told yes uh, if I had a credit card and you know different things but I, you know I was just making an average salary. Now that I'm making more I need to start thinking about you know the tax impl implications and make sure I minimize my tax um, payments so that I can do deductions. There's certain deductions that foreigners cannot do. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that in a minute, okay? Itaman Sammy, living life and not paying taxes, out.